I've been just picking up, 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 picking up
I once you do it, it does stay in for that design. So that's, I guess, one good thing about it. But as long as you don't move around your threads on the actual machine, um, then it'll work for you. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, which is unlikely because, you know, you might not come back to a design for, you know, a couple of weeks and you may have switched out those threads. So you always are going to just want to make sure that the proper threads is in the right place. Um, so that's one drawback. So the stitch out went fine. Um, there, there were some flaws. I did the stitch out on um, some fleece some heavy duty fleece that I had, which is a good thing to consider. You may want to buy one of the bulk packages of some premium fleece and use it for stitch outs if you are one to do a lot of um, sweatshirts and yeah, sweatshirts. Um, might not be a good indicator if you're going to be doing t-shirts, but with sweatshirts and hoodies and things like that, this is a very good idea to um, do your test stitch outs on. So I use the hoops that came with the machine. I do not like those hoops. I'm hoping that my new hoops, and I did order the Mighty Hoop and Hoop Master system, the, um, they said it could take, you know, maybe three to four weeks before I would receive it. So I don't expect to receive it until maybe sometime in um, February. But I, I may do the hoodie uh, before then, but I'm thinking I'm definitely going to have to wait until the magnetic hoops get here in order to do the um, puff vest because you know these hoops are ju it, they just can't handle the thickness of the vest. <laughs> so um, this image called for three shades of blue and four shades of gray, but the where the four shades of gray. Uh, it was so minute that I just stuck with three, the three shades of blue, but then I just did the two shades of gray, and it's fine. Um, right at the very end, because it was there are 20 stops at stop 19, where it should have stitched in the orange signature Walmart um, emblem. It stitched it, but you only see bobbin thread. It did it there, and it did it up here because it's supposed to be up here, and it and all you see is the um, white bobbin thread. And I thought, oh my goodness, see, this is why it's confirmation to me because I'm known to not do a test stitch out because I think it's wasteful, right? Not anymore. Um, you just have to do a test stitch out, especially if it's your first time doing a stitch out. I will always do a test stitch out going forward. You know, it just is what it is. You know, wasted material. I've got a whole basket over here of stitch outs that I, you know, once I do my sample, I put it in the basket over there. So, um, that's going to be a must going forward. Uh, so then I rehooped it to do a second test stitch out because I wasn't going to. I'm like, okay, well, I can fix that. No, I'm not. Mm, mm, this is someone else's merchandise and. You know, unless I want to replace goods that a client purchased, I need to go ahead and do the test test run. So I'm doing a second test run on some duck cloth, um, some peach duck cloth that I had that I was going to make a machine um, cover out of. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to just do some test stitch outs on it, um, and that way it'll be something to look at. So I did not change out any of the threads. But immediately, what I noticed was that the bobbin thread, you see mostly bobbin thread when it was stitching out the black. Okay, it's a problem with the bobbin, not the machine, it's a problem with the bobbin. And I had purchased some new bobbins, those 100% uh, polyester carbon-sided bobbins that I just told you about that are being shipped back. So I took the bobbin out and I replaced it with the original bobbins that I was using and I don't see that problem. So hopefully we can get through this stitch out without any issues um, and we'll see how it goes. Now, <coughs> by my math, 
I think this stitch out took like an hour and a half. I should have timed it today. So it's been on the machine. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to say 10 minutes. So I'm going to say the machine, it's been on the machine since 9.55. It is now 10.05. So I'm just going to jot that time down, 9.55. Okay, start. And I'm going to um, see how long it takes because what I am now giving serious thought to is my pricing. So for the most part, I've been satisfied with my pricing, but now that I am um, going to have an online store through my website, I need to price things accurately. Um, so let's start with the youth denim jackets. So the youth denim jackets, for the most part, consist of um, an image on the back, as well as... I have a lot of jackets in here that I need to, um, I'm going to do a, uh, an auction sale and I might do it tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon I'm thinking about um, doing a, an online uh, auction for all of my inventory. Um, all of the inventory that I had that I did on my single needle. <coughs> so, um, so for the youth jackets, for the most part, you have a back image. There's going to be a back image, and there's going to be a name across the top, and and or the name may go on the front. But for the most part, the on the youth jackets, the name go across the back. So most images for uh, a youth jacket, the stitch out time, well. Single needle, much longer because you're constantly changing out the thread. So it could be, you know, two hours or more. Single needle, and I'm going to do a test stitch out of one of my um, youth images today. I'm going to do a couple of them just to gauge how long it takes. So let's say it's an hour. Let's say this stitch out is an hour, and then for the name, 15 minutes, if that, okay? So, let's say I do $25 per 30 minutes, okay? Because there are some stitch outs that can be done in 30 minutes, like your logos, okay? So, $25 in out, $25 for a 30 minute stitch out, per 30 minutes when it comes to a stitch out, okay? All right. And now that I think about it, that's not gonna work. So I think the better way, because I've already said this machine will not move for under $50. So I won't put anything, I will not do any work on this machine. The starting point is $50. So let's just call it what it is. One hour or less is $50, okay? So if your stitch out can be done under an hour, right off the bat for the stitch out, it's $50, which is accurate because if this stitch out is say 40 minutes and your name is 20 or 15 minutes, then there's the hour there. So that's $50, right? So the stitch out, this stitch out here is $50, okay? Add in the cost of the jackets. These jackets cost me anywhere between $20 plus tax to say $25 plus tax, okay? So we're gonna add in $25 for the jacket because I have to pay shipping, I have to pay taxes, okay? So we're already at $75 for this jacket. So on my website, you can get the youth jackets from size 2T to youth 14 for $75, okay? plus tax, plus shipping. Prior to me opening my store, you could get this jacket for $60, okay? And that was me doing them on a multi-needle. So, <laughs> 
I cannot sell myself short like that anymore because one, I use the finest of materials. I'm not sending you junk and the work is quality. Okay, so, oh, oh, and over the Christmas holiday, because I took my overflow to a bazaar, you could get a jacket already done and instead of the name, it may have said cutie or, you know, girl power or whatever for $45 because I was trying to get rid of the inventory, okay? But uh, a couple of clients, I honored that $45 price, for, price point on custom jackets because they ordered multiple jackets. But, you know, that's gone. That was a Christmas sale. It's a one-time thing, and I'll never order, I will never offer a custom make at that price point again. Probably not, in, probably not next year either because, you know, like I said, I, I cannot run this machine under $50, okay? Same thing with this image here. Um, this is one of the jackets that will probably be um, <laughs> a part of the um, online auction tomorrow, okay? And this is a 3T, I think. I think this is a 3T, might even... Yeah, it's a, between a 3T and a 4T. All right. So that's that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to work on my store at some point today. I'm going out to G Street Fabrics in Rockville um, because I am I need to see what type of uh, stretch fabric, um, if they have any stretch crepe back satin. I work on these two wraps here. They're just about done. These are the belts that I've started. I need to finish. I need to press, give them a nice press. Give them a nice press. And I need to stitch down the center and then put in a couple of more um, stitch lines. So those are the belts. And they're so sharp. This one here, this is the one with the hood. And what I've changed in these is I've reduced the size of the hood. And unlike the one that I did for myself last year where I left all the edges raw, um, I'm putting a small hem in the bottom. So that this part here, the open part, is completely finished. And then I will continue that with a 5 8 inch of a hem. The corners are mitered, and I have started that pinning process on this one. So this one is ready to be stitched, okay? And um, yeah, this is beautiful. This one here doesn't have a hood. This one has the shawl collar. I absolutely love this. Um, and then this will be just about done. I haven't decided if I'm going to embellish it with anything. Um, uh, again, I'm going to take a look once I get out to G Street Fabrics and see what they have. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it is just, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous wrap. And the belt goes through here. Yeah, I need to cut open the, um, I need to cut the openings open. But this is just lovely. And this is really heavy wool. It's nice wool. Um, sure. And so once I get all of these done, I showed you the hounds to fabric, wool fabric that I have for the next one. But the fabric is so luxurious, that black and white hounds to I I don't know. I'm, I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to keep it for myself and I'm going to do something more along the lines of an asymmetrical cut and I'm definitely going to leave the edges raw on that because it is very, very, very thick um, wool and it's not going to have a hood. I am going to do the collar on it, maybe a little bit bigger, no, the collar, yeah, maybe maybe <clears throat> because I'm going to make a hat all right well this is just about at 20 minutes which was my goal so I'm going to stop it here and I'll see you a little bit later on today